Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to build this awesome calisthenic setup in your backyard. It's super easy, it doesn't cost much, and honestly it requires minimal equipment. Everything is going to be in the description below and it's going to tell you what you need exactly to buy to build this. I got everything from Bunnings Warehouse in New Zealand and I'm just going to walk you through now what we use. Firstly, for the pull-up bar, we used a 25 millimeter bar and this is 60 inches long and we used the same bar for the dip bars as well. So we've got three of these bars, they're all the same uh, width and length and it was as easy as screwing on a flange and if you come closely, you can see this flange here, which is a 25 millimeter flange. Um, very cheap, $10 from Bunnings. And what this is, is it just sets up, you can screw the steel pipe into the flange, and from here, you can then just drill with a normal 10 millimeter drill bit with some screws in here, and it really doesn't take much time at all. Each of these posts are four by four, 3.6 meter posts. They're going around a meter into the ground, and four by four is 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters, so it's a fence post, and they cost around $36 each. We use two of these posts for the pull-up bar, and for the dip bars, we used uh, a shorter post. This is a 1.8 meter post, um, but it's still 100 millimeters, 100 millimeters, which is four by four inches as well. So in the ground here, what we did was we put pourable instant concrete. This was about $11 per bag, and the dip bars required about three bags all together to put into the ground um, so that it could stabilize. The two high bars took about two bags each and this is because it's quite deep into the ground and all you have to do is pour the concrete in and then after that you just add water until the concrete is covered and it comes up as high as you feel comfortable with. Make sure that it's set there and then you leave it for a day and it's all ready to go. Now, the important thing is when you're digging the holes is the approximation is about 27% of the pole length is how much you want to dig into the ground. So I worked out that 27% of 1.8 meters um, is about half a meter. So I dug half a meter into the ground and then filled with concrete and as easy as that really. The other thing that you need to make sure you're doing is leveling the posts. So you want to make sure that the post is level vertically and that this bar here is leveled horizontally so that the bar is not at an angle. And that's really important when setting this up. So when installing the flanges onto the posts, what we did was we installed one flange onto the post first and measured it from the top how far we wanted it down. And then we screwed on the steel post onto one of the flanges and then concreted this one into the ground. Then from there, we added the flange onto this end and we had some wiggle room on this side to then adjust it so that it was level uh, without putting the concrete into the ground yet. So what was important with this build was that we added some bolts just here, well, a bolt, and then I also added some screws down here and the reason why is because this wood is actually cracking and the reason why the wood is cracking is because the post is quite thin and it's a tall post so it's coming out of the ground quite high and obviously I'm lifting weight on there as well I'm doing weighted pull-ups and stuff so um, it's gonna add a lot of weight to the post so keep that in mind I'm six foot two so I needed a taller post and for me this is perfect I'm just coming off the ground um, but if you're shorter, you can obviously lower it and use a slightly shorter bar and that's going to give you a little bit more stability. What added huge stability was actually once adding the dip bar. And because um, that extra pole is there, it's just giving a little bit more rigidity to the thing here. So as you can see, I mean it's still quite wobbly, but it does add, if I'm doing pull-ups, it's fine, there's no problem. It's if I was doing any sort of kind of dynamic movement, then maybe I'd wanna have a little bit more reinforcement and you could technically build another um, 
bar here for doing say front lever or front dips I mean you can do that there too or you could build a, a place for human flag so that's another option and on the ground here we have some L-sit bars or parallettes on the ground and these are so good for doing L-sits, planche, you can do your handstands here, you can do handstand push-ups, everything really. Um, and this was super super easy to put into the ground. So again, this is the same thickness of bar. Now these are 25 by 450 millimeter bars. So I've got two of these bars which go into a, um, a junction point here which is 25 millimeters and this is just very very cheap from Bunnings again everything's from Bunnings um, and it's in the same section as these these bars so you should be able to find them the key is is that they are 25 millimeters um, and these just screw in on each side and then on the bottom one here we've also got a 25 by 30 uh, sorry 25 by 350 millimeter bar on each four corners and that just goes into the ground and then I've just concreted that into the ground on each side as well. The most important thing with this one is that you level the bars so you need to make sure you have a big enough level that's going to fit across the bars so that you know that both of these are at the same level and yeah away you go really really easy. The thing with the leveling um, what might make it a bit more complicated is if your ground is not flat and that's what um, the issue was here. If you've got flat ground it's going to be a lot easier for you to level and to get that right. But basically you just want to play around with it. Um, you can dig a little bit more out of one side, you can uh, reduce it. But again you just do the same equation, do 27% so 0.27 times the amount of millimeters that you've got going into the ground and that's about how much you want to dig into the ground. And honestly guys this all these ones probably took one bag of concrete all together to put those in and um, yeah super super simple lever for 24 hours and away you go all right so this is the kind of level you want to use and this is really fantastic for lining up your dip bars so that they're both level as well as the low parallettes on the ground and it's super simple you just put this over the top and as you can see It's level at the top so you just want to make sure that this is in between both lines and as simple as that now the screws that I used for half of the project were these ones here so these are 14 G 10 by 50 millimeter screws and you just want to make sure that they're for um, for timber or um, which can be hard or soft but you really want to make sure they stay in the steel guys the reason why you don't want the zinc coated ones the zinc ones are for inside and they're going to basically break down a lot faster um, in the weather conditions so you want to make sure you're just getting steel stuff um, as best as you can um, the other screws that i used were the same as these but they are bolt pattern so the other ones fit onto an eight millimeter uh, bolt bit whereas these ones uh, require a um, a hex key or a 14 sorry a five millimeter hex drive and the hex drive you can just pick up from Bunnings as well five millimeter hex drive but um, I found it easier to use the bolt pattern because I was able to use a ratchet when they couldn't get through with the power drill so that's something to keep in mind um, if you don't have a set of allen keys at home and you power drill into the wood and the power drill gets stuck and it only goes in halfway you need an allen key that's five millimeter to to screw them in so either these ones here or you can go for uh, the same thing but as a bolt okay so this is my pull up and dip setup guys i hope you enjoyed this video as i said before in the description is going to be everything that you need to set this up and again it's a super super reliable setup and not expensive at all you can get everything at your local hardware shop so remember guys subscribe and if you like support the channel thank you